And reactions have begun to trail the passage of the bill which seeks to abolish uh, the dichotomy between holders of university degrees and higher national diplomas. Jacinta Obiku captures the, uh, these reactions in this report. The perception that the university degree is somewhat better, more prestigious, and generally more acceptable than the polytechnic diploma has been of huge concern for a long time. This perception by employers of labor, even government, is that HND is for those who fail to do well in school. As a result, they prefer employing university degree holders to HND holders. Arguably, this has impeded development. The bill, which was sponsored by Senator Patrick Ayo Akin Yeluri, seeks to resolve the lingering controversy, discrimination, wage, and entry level disparity against HND holder in the public and private sectors of the economy and has passed the third reading on the floor of the Senate at plenary. Now, the question are how realistic is this and what are the implementation policies to drive the bill when passed? Before you have graduate for you have a HND plus a graduate person, it's expected to fit into industry for a particular task. You have graduate, and that is why the other company was there. Now, if you are going to abolish it, have you changed the skill set? Have you changed the curriculum? Have you looked at excellent outcomes? Have you seen the kind of product you want to produce out? We have to first equip our school system with good career management service so that young people who are more technically inclined, we recognize their talents early and move in that direction. While those who uh, are more into design in terms of their personality will look more in the direction of universities. But at the moment, we don't have such a system in our country. And uh, so long as we have failed to uh, get young people to understand the fundamental differences between those two things, and, uh, and not also giving them opportunity to recognize their talents and their gifts early in life and pursue them, who will continue to struggle. Part of the fundamental issues to be addressed is to how to compel the employers. We to create some factions. You see, that's why, we, that's why most time when you have a policy without having input of people you are making policy for. Paul is supposed to be gas rich driven. The abolishment of the existing dichotomy between HND holders and graduates of universities would meet the huge manpower needs of Nigerians, ensure social justice, and enhance corporate governance, as well as encourage patriotic contributions amongst HND employees in both public and private sectors. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV, Africa. Thanks for Jacinta for that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.